Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. Today we are talking about the brand new highlighters from L'Oreal. These are the new True Match Lumi highlighters. I have all three powders, all three liquid illuminators. These are for all skin tones. There's something for warmer skin tones, neutral skin tones, cooler skin tones. So I really wanted to get a taste of everything that would apply to everyone and not just my skin tone. I've been trying to make that very clear on my channel recently that when a new line launches, if it's possible, I'm gonna grab as much as I can so that you guys get a really clear overview. I don't know why I'm like swimming with my hands like this today. Anyway, not all of these are created equal. There are some big texture differences and I do have a few favorites and I do have a few that I'm just like, no, I don't care. I, I, I don't know who would really like that. So let's dive in and I'm gonna share with you guys why I like what I like and why I don't like what I don't like and I have a few other highlighters to share with you side by side comparisons so you can get an idea of kind of what I consider to be a great highlight because I am all about the glow glowy skin that just screams I am healthy I am just I was gonna say I am fun loving I'm full of life look how I radiate I'm a happy person um I just I think that having like some shine to your face just really is very youthful and pretty and I like a good glow. So let's get started. C is for cool, N is for neutral, W is for warm. So they have really laid it out quite nicely for you to understand, oh, this is what this is. And also the packaging, each one is colored a little bit differently. So it's kind of a no brainer. I do appreciate that. You don't get a ton of product in here. You only get 0.67 fluid ounces. What is that about? Now granted, this is 1250, which I think is a little bit steep. They have them buy one, get one half off at Ulta right now, which um, that's what I did. So I would recommend waiting for a buy one, get one half off sale from L'Oreal if you're planning on buying a couple of these items. Otherwise, I just think anything over $10 at the drugstore in my brain, I'm like, is it really worth it? Or should I pay a little more for those really great ingredients? So as a comparison, you get 1.7 fluid ounces with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. Now this is $41, this is 12. So in essence, to me, this is like double the price, but it's, it's the, like, it's my favorite in the universe. Um, something that sets these two apart, this one does have dimethicone, this one does not. I, this is like my ride or die. Oh my God, have I ever said that on my channel? I don't think I'm allowed to. Like you reach a certain age and you can't say stuff like that. Screw the rules, ride or die. This shimmering skin perfecter I put in with lotions. I put all over my face. I mix in with foundations. I use on the high points of my face, my cheeks. I just really, really love this one so much. I've like broken the lid. I take this with me everywhere I go. It's such a fantastic liquid highlighter. And I was never really into the whole liquid highlighters before. So this was gonna be, you know, tough competition. Tough competition right here. The option for cool is called ice and it is very pink. It's a strong pink highlighter. Now to me, this is a little crazy. Of course, you're not gonna stripe that on your face like that. You're not gonna like have that be your, you know, cheek highlight. I do have to say the texture and the blendability is really nice. Like, look, I was able to blend that out in two seconds. It gives you a lot of luminosity. These are really, really pretty. I can't say that they're not pretty because they are. They just like, look at the difference in my hands. One just has like a nice glow, the other doesn't. Is it as smooth as the Shimmering Skin Perfector? No, but for the price, if you are on a budget and you want something in your routine that is a liquid highlighter, there aren't that many options at the drugstore and I think it is nice that they brought these out. So that was the shade Ice. Then we have the neutral shade which is actually my least favorite of the liquids because I just think this is way, way too just like pink toned. I mean, granted it is called rose, but like, look at this. That's just not the most flattering. I feel like unless you have very dark, deep skin, this is not neutral to me. I don't know that I would go applying this everywhere and mixing this one in with your foundation. On the L'Oreal site, it does state that you can mix this in with your foundation or you can just use it as like a high point, like cheekbone highlighter down the bridge of the nose, etc. Um, but this one mixed in with your foundation, I think would look really 
orangey red weird so that one i just i did not like that much just because of this shade it wasn't for me now this one golden w101 that is for more warm toned skin this is actually really pretty mixed in with foundation you will look tan you will look more bronzed, you will look more tan. This one will not give you that gorgeous light catching highlight on the high points of your face unless you have a really nice tan or you are deep or darker skin tone. But if you wanna mix this all over the face as a primer, if you wanna put it in your foundation a few drops to kind of make things feel a little more golden, this is a really, really nice one. The shade comes out really really pretty and I don't have anything like this in my collection whenever I am doing hot or not the first thing I do is I take every item that is like this item that I'm trying out in my collection and I start swatching and playing and seeing you know how the texture compares how the color compares what's different what I like what I don't so I don't have anything this tone as a highlighter at all so this one was really unique to me I really really love this one now we have the powders and this is the same same story they have one for cool tone neutral and warm tone now they're called the same thing like this one is rose but to me this does not look so totally rose ish it just doesn't I actually really like this one it's a nice highlight it has a little bit of a pink type of a tone going on in here which I think is very very flattering if you have dark skin this is gonna be way crazy pale on you so I would not recommend it the one that I like the most, again, is warm tone, golden. It's just what I'm drawn to and what looks good on me. And I want to show you guys, this is golden right here. And I don't want to say that it's chunky. It's not chunky. It's pretty smooth. It really does create a nice impact and a nice amount of shine on your face. I keep saying like the high points of your face. Wherever you choose to put it, you are going to be highlighted. And I wanted to show you that it is in tone quite similar to Becca's Opal. This is the pressed shimmering skin perfecter. Now, however, the Becca one is a little bit stronger, a little bit smoother, but you can see that the tone is very, very similar. And then it's also similar, a lot of people love um, Soft and Gentle by MAC. And Soft and Gentle, the only difference is really Soft and Gentle is a little more pink toned, but these kind of all do the same thing. So if you're on a budget and you need a great highlighter, I think it's fantastic that they have these available at the drugstore because this is one of those items that you go from line to line and there really is just not much to pick from. So I do like this powder. It's fairly smooth. It's a teeny, 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 tiny bit chunky. Like I would say I'd give this a nine out of 10 because you can detect just a little bit of kind of shimmer glimmer versus like the more high end ones, you're only gonna look really dewy. But that's not to say that this isn't good. It looks beautiful and I really, really like it. The rose one, same thing. It's really, you know, preference of what your skin tone is. If you are very fair, I would go more so for the rose than I would this one. This one altogether, I just think would look funny on anyone. I don't, even if you are super, super pale, I just, I don't think this would look good because it's quite chalky. I mean, it's just not, it's just, it's not good in my opinion. Anything that has a really stark kind of white like really intense cool toned white undertone for highlight is just gonna look like makeup on top of the skin. It's not gonna mesh into the skin the way you want it to. And I find that this formula opposed to the other two is a little bit chalky as well. So I just, this one I don't really get. If you are very fair and you're looking for a more cool toned highlighter, the Shine On Powder from Makeup Forever, I'm gonna put it right next to this one here, see how that has just like a soft kind of a pink going on and it's not so crazy, just icicle white, but it's definitely more cool toned than these ones down here. That is the Make It Forever Shine On Powder and this is the kind of highlight that you would buy once in your life and you would never have to buy again because this powder, you only need such a tiny little bit, a little goes a long way. 
And yeah, so that is it for this week's Hot or Not, just kind of a rundown of something that's brand new to shelves at the drugstore that is in a category that I love so much, which is highlighter. I hope you guys enjoyed this shimmery edition of Hot or Not, and let me know in the comments if there are other launches right now that you're really wanting to see the full A to Z collection, swatches, etc. Leave that in the comments for me. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Other than that, I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you next time. Mwah!